Hey you guys, quick tutorial on how to make your font dynamic and your shapes too. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're in the right, uh, right layer and instead of double clicking on the T which then lets us um, fix the font uh, with size and scale and all that stuff, you're going to just click, double click on the actual layer itself. This window is going to come up and it's going to give you a lot of different options for changing your font. Now, I don't know why, but if you just click next to it, you saw something happen, but you have to physically click on the words in order to get all the dialogue. This can be very, very overwhelming, but what you have to do is just play. So depth and size and soften kind of makes it a little soften and that was for bevel emboss you know what does embossing straight embossing do versus what's a pillow emboss and then you can also um, click on contour and change that and sometimes some things are going to happen some things they're not going to happen there's texture um, you can also click on these here I like to put mine in a normal mode this is how your light works and see if anything happens there. See that will change it a little bit. So you can have multiple options that change the color. So if I go to a pink, it will change it more of a pinky color. Okay. The last thing you can do is a gradient overlay. You can grab one of these. I'm going to grab something quite obnoxious just to show you how it works. And then linear. And then I, I don't know if it's not working right now. Usually you have to draw on the gradient. Maybe because I did all those other things it's not working. But gradients are pretty cool too. But either way you can have super cool dynamic text. And it will make it look much better.